Hey Lance, Jessica from Peterson SEO here. Thank you for reaching out and requesting your free audit and marketing attack plan. So in today's world, everything has gone digital and online. And in order to be in front of your customers, this is where you need to be. So <clears throat> your website is absolutely critical um, to that. When done correctly, this could be like a virtual ATM machine for you guys. But where this all starts is a search. So when somebody places a search on Google, uh, oftentimes you will see ads, cost per click ads up here. And about 10% of people actually will click on those ads. Occasionally, you'll see um, some organic listings before the maps, um, but usually the maps will come first. These are your Google Maps. This is your Google Business Profile section. About 30% of people will skip your ads and go straight here to this uh, map section. So your goal should be to have a Google Business Profile that is optimized and listed in this top three for those local keyword searches. Um, because as I mentioned, 30% of people go straight here and they'll call these three companies. Um, I'm not, I did not see a Google business profile for you guys. Not that you don't have one, but I did not find one. So this is going to be really important for you guys to make sure you um, have one and get it fully optimized. Um, there's many factors in optimizing it and getting it ranking. One of those factors is something called citations, and that is simply listing the name of your business, um, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories. Um, I do believe actually later you mentioned Mr. Rodriguez. So this might actually be one of your listings. Um, but as far as for the business name you provided, I don't see a listing for that one. Um, so that might be something you want to consider. All right. And this final section here, this is your organic listings. Um, nearly 70% of people will skip the ads and the maps and go straight to your organic. So it's really important that your website, um, be optimized and ranking to get in this position so you can capture that traffic. So hopping back over to your website, um, for this specific website, I know you said you have several, um, but in the case of this website, um, it has a decent build. Um, I like the colors. I like the, I like the logos. Um, you have interlinking pages, which is important. Um, but you really don't have any information. You have about two sentences. And, um, when it comes to Google nowadays, content is key. So you need a lot of written content and that content has to be built around your local buyer intent keywords. Not everybody will know your business by brand. They are going to search by what they're looking for, the service or product that they need. Um, and that's what they're going to be searching. And so you need to focus on those keywords and you need 250 words for every keyword you're going to target. Each of your major services will need their own page. And if you're servicing multiple areas, so if you're servicing outside of Anchorage um, and have multiple service areas, you need to have separate service area pages as well so that you can be found in each of the um, communities that you are servicing. So you're definitely going to need to work on your content strategy. There's been three huge Google um, algorithm updates and content is becoming more and more important every single day. 
um, not just on the face of your website, but adding a content strategy, continually adding content throughout your websites. Looking at one of your top competitors, uh, Korea here, terrible designed website. It's 15 years old. Um, so most of the reason it's ranking is because of age, the age of your domain, um, does play a factor. Um, it's not as big of a factor anymore, but it is a factor and they do have a little bit more content. Um, so they have more content. You need to make sure you have more content and better content than your competitors. You need to make sure that you're optimizing, um, all of your images, these images are not optimized. Um, so you want to make sure that you're optimizing every single page, every image, and you dial in your content strategy. Um, another one of your top competitors is JL properties, uh, much better design. They don't have any service pages that, um, pretty much just a portfolio. So they are also missing the boat when it comes to content. They don't have any written content either. Um, so employing these strategies, it should actually be pretty easy for you guys to, um, come up in the rankings and start indexing and ranking. Um, a website without SEO search engine optimization is not going to be found. And that's kind of the position you're in now. So if we take a look here at ARFs, it tells us how your website is performing and as you can see, your DR here, that means domain rating, your website as a whole, is a 0.7 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google does not trust your website. That's 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. A referring domain is any website that will provide your website with a link from their website to your website. And the backlink is just that physical link coming from that other domain. Um, not all backlinks are created equal. You need to make sure that you're only going after uh, the do follow good, high quality links directly related to your services. If you think of a referring domain as like a power source and the backlink is like a cord and together they power up your favorite device or in your case, website. So this is really, really important. It's what's going to help you index and rank those keywords. Um, you've only been indexed for 13 keywords and you're not getting any traffic to your website. Looking at the keywords, it's because if we look at positions here, you are not ranking. The first, there's 10 spots per page on Google. So your first, um, highest ranking keyword is on page three, uh, and people don't scroll that far. So, um, you definitely have a lot of work to do on your keyword and content strategy and start employing SEO. So you can start ranking these keywords. If we look at the first competitor, um, Korea, they also have a poor rating. They don't have any SEO going, um, but they have been indexed for 65 keywords and they're getting about 18 people to their website. So they're not really driving traffic either. Um, and if we look, they only have a couple keywords at the bottom of the first page. Um, and they are semi local. These are regional state, um, keywords. So they are getting a little bit of traffic. Your other competitor, jail properties, they actually do have a keyword, um, strategy and a backlink, um, SEO strategy. So they have a rating of a 25, which is pretty good. Um, again, based on their backlinks and referring domains, so you're going to have to have more and better quality ones than they have. They've been indexed for over 300 keywords and they're getting over 200 people to their website on average per month. But when we look at these keywords here, one, they do have a ton of keywords on the first page of Google. Um, but most of them are branded or are from their portfolio from name dropping. Um, so most of this is not actually buyer intent because 
your brand, as important as it is, is also a national keyword. So just because people are going to their site by brand doesn't mean they're local or that they will ever convert into clients. Um, so these are going to be really, really important um, to focus on. Work on your keyword strategy, your SEO, get that website optimized, and get your Google business profile um, up, running, and optimized. You can capitalize on that as well. I hope that you found this to be helpful. Um, all these tips you can start applying right away, and it should help start driving that traffic. If you have any questions, go ahead and feel, uh, feel free to reach out. We'd be glad to chat with you. Thanks for watching.